Good afternoon everyone. Uh, I have not been able to make a video in three days because I haven't done really any work uh, for lawn care in three days. I've just been working in the sign shop trying to stay ahead of that which is getting kind of difficult. Uh, it's getting closer and closer to Christmas time. But, um, got the gravely in here today and projects today is headlights. I'm going to put these Nylite headlights on which I buy from Amazon. They're not that much money. They're under $20. Uh, I have Waterproof switch to put in there, and, and of course a fuse to put in there. But uh, this is going to be a pretty simple um, mount. I won't have to modify anything. Won't have to make any brackets. There's bolt holes already in there. I just got to modify the brackets for these lights a little bit, which is no big deal. And then I also going to do the last final adjustments on a Proterial, and that should be all straightened out. I got to do some bending and some metal on that because there's one pulley that's kicked off. But uh, let's take a look at what I got. Okay, this is what I have. Uh, Nylite lights. They're, of course, everything's made in China, but uh, they seem to be working out pretty good. There's the part number there. They come with these uh, curved brackets, so you can adjust them wherever you want. And uh, what I'm going to do, there's already a bolt here, so I'm just going to unscrew that bolt and uh, mount this on here like this. But I am going to have to grind this end off, cut this end off, whatever, because the bolt's not going to fit in, into this here. And it's going to be a real nightmare to get the bolt in when this is bolted up. Because you have to go through the bracket so there's a trap nut in there. And then put the bolt in there. And you see what I'm going to have problems doing. So, it's going to be fun. But it'll work. Rotero pulley. This belt is straight, lined up. That belt is straight, lined up as best as I'm going to get that. It's pretty close. And this pulley is kicked down this way. So I have two washers in here. I'm going to take one washer out, possibly. And I am going to take this bracket completely off and put it in the vise and put a big old crescent wrench on there and twist this um, plate right here so this pulley will stand up a little bit because it's just bending too much bending too much uh, too much play in there and I, just, I don't know if you can see all that but it's uh, just kicked wrong and it doesn't line up right so I try and line all this up to get that last bit of uh, uh, misadjustment I guess is what I'd say out of that so let's get started on this Okay, I was just going to drill this out and grind this off, but I got to looking at, or got to thinking about this. That's got a shoulder bolt on it, and even if I uh, ground this all off, this uh, even if it wasn't a shoulder, it'd still be hitting that. So I had to come up with something different, so I'm just going to go with the smaller bolt, which I'll probably have to hold a screwdriver up in there because I'm not going to be able to hold it tight there. And then just a nylock nut on the back. And that'll just bolt that right up and not be a problem with anything, I don't think. Don't like how they're pointing down. But we'll see how they work when it gets dark out because... Uh, it may not work at all, but it'll be dark here in a couple hours, so this project will be all done, and I'll just be uh, looking to see what it does in the dark. Okay, now this is going to be easy part. I'm just going to run uh, the wire from here all the way up to here. And I don't know if you can see any. There's a, there's a knockout here, and there's another one up over here. And I'll probably put the um, light switch on uh, where you at. So I have a knockout right here and a knockout right there. I'll probably put the light switch right there, the toggle switch. This is made for a rocker switch, but I've got uh, toggle switches, so I'm just going to make them work.
Okay, I got all these spliced together. I put uh, liquid tape on here because uh, when these three of them come together, yeah, it's still not quite dry yet, but close enough. And then I have to take this off and figure out where I'm going to punch this through at, which I'm thinking is going to be close there. Yeah, I guessed right on them. Liquid tape. Okay, I got everything all wrapped up in uh, wire loom and I got it tie strapped up. I don't have this uh, bolted down yet just in case I have something wrong. And uh, now I'm going to put a fuse in it. That's a little kind of a pain in the butt to get to where I put it, but um, I figured it'd be better off being a pain in the butt, hard to get to, than uh, blowing it all the time, or getting in the way all the time. So it fuses in. Let's see how these lights look. I'm not sure. They just might work. I might have to come in and do something with the brackets or change the brackets out on it, but they're bright enough. They're hitting right here, so I think I'm going to have to do something different with them. Probably put a different kind of a bracket in it. Okay, I got the front end of the mower up. Yeah, it's part of my jack stand and stuff because I might be wrenching around on this, don't want to fall off. So this is what I was talking about. You can see it looking at the side that this is just kicked off to the front. So I'm going to try a couple different things. Uh, more likely I will be bending this bracket and take a little bit, but I can should be able to bend it. But, uh, right now I have two washers in there because they usually work the best. And I had two springs on here, but I took the one spring off and it actually, uh, the belt's not as hot anymore. So that is helping quite a bit. And this has just got a, it's not a real good design. It works, but it's not perfect like it should be. Or not real perfect, but closer, I guess. So I'm gonna put shorter bolts on here, get the spring up higher. Maybe that won't pull down as far and uh, like I said, just bend this bracket up just a little bit, I think. Because uh, everything else is good except for this right here. Because this is lined up good. This is lined up good because this is uh, pulling right in the center of the pulley. And it's, uh, you know, as best as you could do with this. So it's not touching anything, so that's good. And the whole time I was running this, uh, with the, I put a 100-inch belt back on it. So put more slack in it. And it's not throwing a belt anymore, so... I think a lot of it was uh, pulley alignment and some of my error and some of uh, their error was set up there but you know that's how you learn things is trial and error at least that's how I learned.
Seems to be pretty good and it's quite a bit straighter. Not as straight as I want, but straighter. There's just a little bit of a tip on it, but it's not too bad now. So, and everything else is straight, so that should work out pretty good. Now I'm going to put the, the cover back on the best I can. It's going to have to go on with some washers and stuff because uh, it's all broke up and I don't have time to fix that. So we just I got to get this out. Uh, check them lights out because I'm sure I'm going to have to get some uh, different angle brackets or something made up and then uh, get this loaded up and get my other mower in here for uh, later on. Okay, kind of a long drawn out process a little bit on my end. Uh, I shortened it up for everybody else because there's a lot of stuff that was just going on. Um, I got to believe what I'm going to do is end up with a piece of angle iron on these lights. Bolt it across or bolt it in here and then it'll be up on the flat and I'll just get these lights up a little bit higher and I'll be able to angle them a, better, a little better. I don't have any angle iron with me or in the shop I used it all up so I'm going to have to get a piece here. You know, Pretty good size piece but I'm going to get the wider stuff like the inch and a half, two inch or whatever it is. I can't remember now the size I like getting but as soon as I see it I'll get it and I know exactly it's a thinner uh, angle iron so I don't need it real heavy it's just to be making brackets. I usually get only get like a two foot piece because that lasts me for quite a while and I just make brackets out of it so um, there's still some snow in my yard but I am going to go out and see if them headlights will light anything up in my yard. All I need is a little bit of light where I can see so um, if it doesn't work I'm just going to have to grab some angle iron tonight and drill out the holes and stuff and uh, modern bond uh, uh, another day, it's just uh, two holes and uh, two bolts, and it shouldn't take too long, but for three bolts, so I gotta loosen up the one and tilt it. But um, let's go see what kind of light we got. light there so I'm gonna have to uh, get some angle iron I don't know what time it is right now uh, yeah I might have time to go get some tonight yet but all I gotta do is just cut two pieces and drill a hole in each one or one on the side and one offset a little bit on the inside because the brake lever on the left side is gonna be hitting the light if I don't move it over a little bit so that's not gonna be no big deal and Take me probably uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that to make that work and then it'll be done. So I just wish I would have had the angle iron here, but I never thought of it. So, And now I have the Tiger Cub in here. I have to do something with the plow. Uh, too much play in it, so I'm going to fix that. So that's the next project. And I was pushing the leaves off the trailer twice with this, but um, it's not it's not really saving me much uh, time because I have to go and empty out sooner because this takes up too much room on the trailer. So I will not be pushing the leaves off of the trailer with this, um, but I will be using this plow to push leaves up uh, where I dump and uh, probably also in the spring to push up sod and everything. So that should work out pretty decent. So not everything worked out the way I wanted it to. I didn't get everything done the way I wanted it to. The lights are on, but I can't really see with them. And um, I need to get out working tomorrow. Hopefully there's going to be enough snow gone. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go out and uh, um, drive around a couple of different spots. But I also have to get a tire fixed on my trailer because it's got a flat tire. So it's uh, I had them fixed uh, here about two weeks ago, and another one's going flat again. So I'm thinking what's going on is where uh, my dump site is. I think everybody's bringing all their trailers in full of uh, leaves and everything but didn't sweep them out and they did all their construction stuff and there's nails and screws and everything else in the trailers and 
I think that's what's going on because this is the third time I'm going to have a flat tire here in, in what two weeks I think it is or three weeks so yeah it gets irritating real fast but nothing you can do about it so that's going to be it for me for today hopefully you'll see me out working in the next video but we'll see it depends on how the weather goes here you now I'm going to have about one day to do a bunch of work do a whole bunch of small yards and uh, one big yard but uh, I want to get them all done tomorrow as much as I can because it's supposed to be raining the day after tomorrow, uh, like 70% for all day. So um, it'll get rid of the rest of the snow, but it's not going to dry nothing out for us. But we're supposed to have like a four day grace period of no rain or snow, and it's supposed to be up near 40, so that's going to help us out. But, uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified when the next videos are released. So thank you for watching. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you at the next yard.